Sven, how are you going? Nice to meet you, Mate, man. Good to see you. Sven Gola, that's how you pronounce your last name, right? Yeah, really, really a German name, Gola. You've been working hard and I think what you need is generally a little bit of a pick-me-up and a little bit of a drink, so I've tried to add as much of a German touch to it as possibly can. Oh. Um, are you from Bamberg? Yeah, Bamberg. A city of 70,000? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small town. That's amazing. Yeah, we have a tradition of brewing and like... Well, it's, know, a, it's Bavaria, right? It's a beer yeah. town. It was hard work at first, but now I think the people are getting it, so... Cool. And tell me a little bit about your bar. And my bar is like uh, looks like a living room um, with a furniture from like your grandma a bit, yeah. like really cozy, and we mix at the kitchen table. We try our best. I'm gonna make a bourbon sour. We just uh, really put nice. about five mils of Wunderberg in there as well for really you. Okay, nice. bullet bourbon sour, so nice and rich and vanillary. Sounds like my drink. Yeah, your kind of thing. So Sven, obviously, you know, the Germans are, they're very, they're very meticulous when it comes to preparation. Yeah. Is that the case with you as well? How much have you brought with you? Yeah, I'm pretty basic kind of guy. Small town bar, laid back. Do you think that really laid back approach was the difference in, in, in making you the winner instead of, you know, any of the people from the big cities? Let me take a sip first. Oh jeez, better be good. Remember camera's rolling. Oh, really good. The Is Underberg <laughs> place, really nice man, really nice German touch. <laughs> I try to, to just have fun. Definitely. Germany is that, obviously, besides being meticulous, they're hugely resourceful people. And, you know, that kind of that resourceful attitude behind the bar is becoming more and more important. Yeah. Yeah. And especially when it comes to talking about kind of sustainability behind the bar. Yeah. You know, is that kind of something that's on your agenda? Yeah, uh, for me, it's really easy because I'm from a small town. So we have a lot of, like, farmers and uh, nurseries and a lot of produce, which is just locally sourced. So sure. we can work with it. Yeah, and we we have a small bar, so we have one in a small town where the price is like uh, we we like we take like eight dollars uh, eight euros for a cocktail. Sure. In Frankfurt, you pay fourteen. Okay. So we have to see how we can make money and yeah. And for example, uh, we we started to to use aguafaba instead of egg white Definitely. because we always throw away the yolk. Of course, yeah. And. We try to work with like vinegars and uh, other acids because uh, limes and lemons are really expensive mm. in Germany. So uh, what so are the? Uh, I guess you know that's the thing with you know n you know owning a bar compared to working in a bar. When you work in a bar, you you don't know the cost side of things. You don't know the the, the tangible kind of outcomes yeah. from from saving money. Yeah. So I guess once a bartender clues up to that, and they also see the environmental impact, yeah. it's really important. I mean, with this cocktail alone, you know. Um, like you just mentioned, yeah. there's an egg yolk yeah. and there's some discarded lemons yeah. that, that, I've, that I haven't used in the drink. Are there, are there any kind of ways that you'd be able to use ingredients like that or any other things in the bar that generally get wasted? Yeah, we started with like, I started with cut off um, pieces of apples and uh, like the husks of strawberries and made uh, um, vinegars. From yeah. them. And how, how exactly do you make that? Uh, I just use like the stems and the cutoffs what I don't use. Sure. Put it in a jar, put water and sugar in it like combine it and put like just a cheesecloth of it so not, no fruit flies can get to it and it starts fermenting mm. by the natural uh, yeast in the, in the uh, air yeah. and after you like one week or so you have like apple wine or like uh, yeah. strawberry wine and like you, you always like stir it every day and after four to eight weeks depends yeah. you have like really delicious vinegar which you can use to make shrubs or Definitely. put it in your drinks. I mean, and globally, I guess, are there any are there any people that you've seen that you've said, oh, they're doing such a good job when it comes to sustainability or or, 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 or anyone that you kind of look up to or you've, you've read about? It could be in the food world yeah. as well. Yeah, I had the pleasure to um, to uh, met uh, Mr. Lyon in the German finals. He Lion was one Chet, of the, yeah, yeah he, he gave a talk about his uh, environmental sustainable uh, efforts in his bars. And it's really impressive, and yeah. in the bar world, it's like the first to come who comes to my mind when I talk about environmental issues. But uh, going back, like in, in in Germany, when you like ask your grandparents or like other people, they they have resources you yeah. you wouldn't use like. Uh, cooking up like marmalades with a uh, fruit that's mushy or not so good anymore. Yeah. So, or w what I tried to do is like, yeah, use everything I could, like the the lime husks or lemon husk. We make a, a coriolo out yeah. of it. So, that's yeah. Right. And as I always say as well, now that more bars are turning to using aquafaba instead yeah. of egg white. And obviously, for those that don't know, aquafaba is the essentially the brine from a can of chickpeas. Yeah, right. Uh, it's a it's a it's a preservative. Yeah. Um, 
So many people are using that instead of egg white, and so hummus is appearing on bar menus all yeah. around the world yeah. because now we've got all these chickpeas, yeah. we don't know what to do with them, yeah. much in the same way we had all these egg yolks yeah. and we didn't know what to do with them, so yeah. that's quite cool. I mean, is there anything that kind of peeves you off a little bit in the industry that you say, you know what, we waste too much there or, or we need to get rid of that? Or Yeah, I think what most annoys me are like the little, like, uh, you get always a straw or like, like a toothpick or so in your drink, you, course, you don't yeah. need it, like, or like n nobody really cares, like you, you don't prepare very well for your, for, your, for your weekend, so you order a bunch of like fresh mint yeah. and you realize I don't need it and then you throw it away, but you could maybe like use it for an infusion or so. 100% or grow it yourself. Or grow yourself, yeah, even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or just use like uh, ingredients that are locally occurring, like they are in season now. Yeah. That would be like better. Like I would like to see like in, in Germany we have like a restaurant. It's called uh, Nobelhart and Schmutzig in Berlin. Say it again. Nobelhart and Schmutzig. Uh, yeah, I know it well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really good. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. They, they cooked a Michelin star with uh, like just ingredients they found in uh, Berlin and uh, Brandenburg, which really? is like the the state around really? Berlin. Wow. Yeah. And I guess you know w using these ingredients when it comes to using your own vinegars or mm. or chickpea brine mm. or, or using these ingredients, they're a little bit funky and they're not mm. normally yeah. in the cocktail vernacular. Are you finding that customers are reacting quite well for it, especially in a small city? Are they okay with, with yeah. flavors like that? Yeah, uh, in Germany, you, you tend to be like, uh, when you write aquafaba, they ask and yeah. they are like intrigued because a lot of people, when you write egg white, they are like, oh no, please They're not. more disgusted by yeah. animal products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they are like uh, really uh, with health issues and like, mm. oh, maybe I get sick of raw egg, which is like not mostly not the case, but, sure. uh, and they are starting asking questions, they get a conversation, it's really good. and. I've found that you have to balance vinegar differently than course, you would yeah. like juices, but they're getting to the point of it and they are yeah. really intrigued and uh, in a city where you like have local produce, it's like even better. It's yeah. like small town pride, pride, like it's the apple my, my neighbor grows exactly, or so, yeah. yeah. You're building romance around yeah. ingredients. So mate, what I wanted to do, and obviously time is money and, and, yeah. and, and you know, we don't have much money on our hands this week and you've got to get going, you're very busy. I wanted to hit you up with some quick questions. Yeah. Um, you know, I want you to not think about them too much, uh, but definitely just you know, tell me the first thing that comes to mind and be very honest, okay? Okay. okay. Are you a bartender or a mixologist? Bartender. Ooh, straight off the bat, it's a popular one that one, isn't it? Uh, if there was a cocktail trend you wanted gone, what would it be? Uh, giving girls pink drinks and uh, um, like man, like manly drinks. I like it. Yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, if you could only have one reserve brand on a desert island, what would it be? Uh, Talisker Sky. And uh, if you could only drink one cocktail for the rest of your life, Manhattan. Fantastic. And uh, just what we just spoke about, are there any sustainability trends that bars can move towards that are, that are quite simple and effective? You just uh, um, be more efficient with your productive uh, production and your waste management. I think that would save a lot of both a lot of money and you get a lot of good flavors out of like a lemon or lime husk and yeah. You have well, a quick question Sven, that's it, come on move on. Sorry. Uh, and <laughs> uh, besides Bamberg in Germany, what are the emerging cities in the world with cocktail culture? Uh, Frankfurt, uh, London, New York, I think. I've never been there. And last question, uh, the most pertinent question, are you a Spice Girls or are you an All Saints guy? What is All Saints? All Saints or Spice Girls? It's a girl band. Uh, Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much mate. Cheers for coming in. Good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you.